to walk the, the talk of uh, the time travelers you have been hearing about time travelers, I will be telling you a little bit of what you will be seeing tomorrow uh, at the school. So in some ways, kind of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, chapter one. Um, this is a project done by students, ASU design students, designed by them, led by them, and made by them. Uh, I would like to start making all of you for a second think about the world that we live in. We are living in a world that each time we disagree, it seems that we are against each other. We have been seeing within our own country the eventually becoming a lot of social unrest, the streets filling up with people asking for social justice. And we know that this kind of social injustice or justice goes within the physical environment, right? We all know how the, the environment built or nature affect us emotionally and physically, right? We know that Seattle has the highest index of depression because of how gloomy it is. We know that children play uh, and are happier in nature when they play. We know that the women in Alaska, the Eskimos, uh, lose their menstrual uh, period during the winter to conserve energy. These are all things that they talk about how the environment influences at the biological level. Yet we continue to teach our students in this mass production, right, that it doesn't matter what the child wants to become, it just is a consequence of a system. So for designers, we look at the design process. How is it that we make our children, how is it that we make our students succeed? And in every single piece of these moments, you will see that it is the, the interesting part that is developing empathy. And empathy today is much more important than in any other moment in our lives. Because while technology evolves and allows us to be connected to each other, we are socially disconnected from one another. So what the students did was to start looking at the theory and practice. What is it that they learn at school and how can they integrate it helping others? So we call that praxis, right? Most of these praxis come as community outreach projects. It's the designing with a community or designing for a community. Part of our question uh, as one of the faculty who was leading this, uh, this team of students was, how do we teach them empathy in their own capacity to collaborate with others? And what is fascinating about this group that is called LASO, Latino Architecture Students Organization, is that it was a group of students who self-assembling themselves, identify themselves as a minority, and they have this hunger to make social impact in the community. And there was a lot of overlapping between the values of this student organization and the charters of the new American University that Michael Crow defined. They both wanted to leverage their place. They both wanted to transform society. They have this entrepreneurship value of, how do, if I have this idea, how do I move it forward? And they wanted to inspire others. So Rick came into the picture, and he asked us, can you help us design hope? Uh, and we put hope and lots of students together to try to see what it's that it was needed. So upon visiting the installation, the facilities, we noticed that there was a lot of uh, environmental numbness. From the environmental psychology point of view, we need to have values, share values, that make us feel that we belong to the same herd, right? At the end of the day, we are another species in the animal kingdom, and we need to move with someone else. A study done in the University of uh, Utah uh, showed that students who didn't decorate their dorms when they started as freshmen, they have a 70% higher attrition rate to withdraw from college the first year than if they decorated the room. And that decoration was not because of pure aesthetics, but it was this sense of value and how do I belong to a community. So with that said, the students visiting the site, and we decided that the facilities are great. I mean, from the architectural point of view, this uh, school is probably one of the best that I have seen on campus, right, and, uh, within Arizona. But the problem was, like, there was no money left for the environmental psychology issues uh, that would promote the students to want to belong here and to be part of hope. 
So the, the students, how we work with this, it was 100% student-led. Uh, as faculty, we struggled as, as architects and designers. We struggled to keep our hands tight, so we were not the ones designer, designing, but they were our students, the ones that they were designing. And they came up with the different systems of ideas. That they went, The first one that you see uh, is about time traveling, using sound as a way to move through the space. Then there was this system of shelves, that there were circular uh, shelves. And the idea was that the shape itself of a circle didn't have corners to fill you trap. It was this kind of continuous loop that you could always continue and do better next time. The third idea that they had was looking at this pixelation as idea that each of us are individual square by ourselves, but all together we, we make something greater. They also proposed this idea of having a continuous line that travels through the building, that it ends in a mega graphic with the message of hope. They explored the idea of having, again, this system of repetition of pieces that by themselves, they are almost nothing, almost like the keyboard, the letters in a keyboard, but all together, they can write poems and sentences and books. And they talk about also, and they explore this idea of reflection, who we are right now and how the ability to look back in our lives, look at our past and be able to look at our future. Um, we met with them. Probably when they were designing all these little proposals, they, they couldn't conceptualize it in the way that we help them conceptualize the way that I'm explaining it to you. But we kind of recovered the DNA of each of these proposals, and we asked them to move it one next step. This is what you will see tomorrow. This is the uh, proposal that they ended designing uh, for the school. Uh, and I promised them that I wouldn't explain you anything else about it. Uh, so tomorrow they can have their part, but I would like to finish saying that there is hope when there is a group of students that they self-organize to help someone else, not for credits, not for scholarships, but only with the desire of helping others. Thank you. <laughs>